What up, YouTube? We back at it again. Um, I got a rec coming in Patreon. Uh, Megan, appreciate the support, of course. Um, I will check it out. Um, we're looking at five finger death punch judgment day. Way at the bottom. Um, okay. Um, oh, I need to copyright this. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, they're going to get me. I need to do a better job at it. Oops. Bear with me. Um, do me a favor. If you're new here, if you're not new here, run over to um, Five, Finger, Five Finger Death Punch page. Please um, like and subscribe to their content. Um, if you like what I do, please like, comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Helps out a lot. Give me one more second here. I'm going to give me a little, a little extra room here. Um, fade it out a little bit. Cool. Um, all she said was... The video is about human trafficking, um, but to, to listen to the song as well. So um, let's uh, I've done one song of theirs. I think um, it was about uh, it was about uh, vets and their underappreciation. Um, I forget the name of it uh, in um, well, in America, but I guess in general as a whole, just, you know, coming home to PTSD and being undervalued and ended up on the streets and ended up in in rehab and ending up in dead and uh anyways um let's let's uh let's see what we got here and they did something similar to this there are more people trapped in slavery today than any other point in human history that's hard to buy i'm not being skeptical maybe because there's there's more people in general than during slave times that's Interesting. I, I believe it, but it's... Wow. Forty million. Wow. Twenty-six million more... Twenty-six million more of human trafficking. Twenty percent... Twenty-five percent of the, of the human trafficking victims are children. That makes sense. Sad. Four million globally. Ten thousand in the US. Eleven thousand. This is how old? A couple months, I think it said. It's like that movie, Taken. Oh, she did say there was some comic book stuff going on, okay. Uh, this ticking um, it's like an electronic drum it almost sounds like um, like this it's it's weird I, I get like the, the movie Transformers in my head um, this, this like almost like a robotic kind of electronic um, like an elongated snare kind of ticking that's just repetitive and repetitive and repetitive throughout the song interesting um, it was like just uh, I listen to percussion, but it's that's it's like constant through this. Fail. 
So Ivan's playing like the, the superhero here. He's going to come bust up the bad guys. Y'all hear that? That's I'll back it up a second. He's about to get loud right now. Um, that constant ticking that's that's going on. It's like I feel like Captain Hook right now with the clocks. It's just it's just echoing in my head. This the the lyrics in the song to me sound it. They're all death references. Um, I'm I'm not hearing a whole lot of human trafficking references throughout this. Um, and the song's called Judgment Day, uh, which applies to to human trafficking, of course. Um, but a lot of the stuff talking about the, the noose and pay the Pied Piper and, you know, it's all it's all death references. Um, and to my understanding, the point of trafficking is to keep them alive so they can make you money. Right. Um, it's interesting. I won't damn if I try and damn if I fail. God damn you. Through fire at the brimstone and their world at pearly gates He's talking about making making it through the depths of hell at the at the other side of your judgment day we're talking about we're talking about judgment day it's some terminator 2 shit um but it's uh it's it's basically like what's on the other side it's it's kind of like and he's saying like i'm not your savior um you know it and it, in reference to the video itself um as as ivan coming in as the hero um it's almost like it's you know he's it's it's him trying to save those from death. It could apply, I think, and I think Megan said, alluded to this in her comment, but that it could apply to anything really. But to me, the song's about literally about death, um, and um, yeah, and and what like what happens when you die, sort of thing, um, or you don't. Maybe you're saved. I was going to say, was that a spike bat he had? It's <laughs> awesome. My man's like the Punisher with the Crocodile Dundee hat. I love it. He, he is like a superhero. They should throw him in the comic book. that ticking just culminated into a into a, a very a very quick sort of heavy snare roll when he got punched
So I think, I think that the, the comic portion of this is, is a better representation of the actual lyrics of the song because they're all, they're all the depiction of exactly what this song is talking about. You just saw him fly up with angel wings. Um, and they were literally talking about, there were no pearly gates and talking about, you know, brushings with the devil and whatnot. And, and, um, it, it's all, it's all about like, it's all about what happens on your judgment day. Right. Which is, you know, heaven and hell essentially. But I think that, I think that the song was used to call attention to trafficking, um, as a great kind of sidebar to just notate this is going on, um, because it does, it does apply. Right. Um, then he he has a brush in with death here and it looks like he lost but um and then she comes in kind of in an angelic format with that bright light and she saves a bunch of people so she is the she's the angel in that in that light Dead. He in that tunnel of the light. Well, that was that was a crazy visual, um, with the chalk on the ground there. Wherever the fuck that was. Oh well. It's almost like a depiction of. Um, the either demons come in to get him or a demon and an angel, but it looks more like demons came and got him because the angel lost him and then went and saved some kids. That's essentially his, his chalk outline, but it's made of coal. So chalk's white, coal's black, the light and the dark there. I don't think he saw pearly gates. Um, that was badass. That has, that has a lot of meanings, I think. Um, and well done. I don't, I don't think I've, I've listened to or done really. I mean, I've done one other song, so I've probably listened to one other songs. Now I've listened to two. Um, I explained throughout what my, what my thoughts were. Um, as far as, as far as musically, like, um, yeah, I think that that ticking was, was interesting. Um, be interested to know what the if but it, it was it was it was so prevalent throughout and uh just right here but other than that um song was made well instrumentals are good vocals were great um no i liked it i liked it it's it's not typically like in in my lane but it's it's uh it's a good it's a good listen and when they when they couple it with like a video like this and and from the two that i've seen um it seems that they they make stuff that's meaningful um, and will draw attention to stuff. Then um, I think that I think that's you know at least you know making awareness or bringing awareness to certain causes. I think that's pretty cool. So uh, do me a favor if you're new here, if you're not new here, um, like I said, go um, go run over to Five Figure Death Punch and uh, and support, like and subscribe. And if you like what I do, please like, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Helps out the channel. I'm not even sure if you guys could see that. Hopefully you could. I put a little bit of opacity on it just because their stuff gets, from what I've heard, gets copyrighted pretty bad. But, um, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll catch you on the next.